countless intelligence and counterterrorism professionals who've worked tirelessly to achieve this outcome. The American people do not see their work nor know their names, but tonight they feel the satisfaction of their work and the result of their pursuit of justice. We give thanks for the men who carried out this operation, for they exemplify the professionalism, patriotism, and unparalleled courage of those who serve our country. And they are part of a generation that has borne the heaviest share of the burden since that September day. Finally, let me say to the families who lost loved ones on 9-11, that we have never forgotten your loss, nor wavered in our commitment to see that we do whatever it takes to prevent another attack on our shores. And tonight, let us think back to the sense of unity that prevailed on 9-11. I know that it has at times frayed. Yet today's achievement is a testament to the greatness of our country and the determination of the American people. The cause of securing our country is not complete, but tonight we are once again reminded that America can do whatever we set our mind to. That is the story of our history. Whether it's the pursuit of prosperity for our people or the struggle for equality for all our citizens, our commitment to stand up for our values abroad and our sacrifices to make the world a safer place. Let us remember that we can do these things not just because of wealth or power, but because of who we are. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, may God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. And with that, the President of the United States announcing that Osama bin Laden, the founder of Al-Qaeda, a man with thousands of Americans' blood on his hands, has been killed in an overseas raid at the hands of the United States military. They have been pursuing him. He has been on the run for just under a decade, and it has happened. Apparently the proof in the form of his body is in hand after a firefight. His body was taken by U.S. Special Forces. To our Chief White House Correspondent.